So let's start with problem number 1. Supposing that the limits of f of x and g of x both exist, the c is a real number and f of x is equal to g of x. Prove if the function is true or not. For problem number 1, our function is the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to c is equal to 0. Now we will think of a real number to substitute to c. In this problem, I choose 2, but feel free to choose other numbers if you want to try it yourself. Now we will substitute our c to the function to get the f of c. If our c is equal to 2, if we substitute it, our f of x will become 2. Since the g of x needs to be equal to f of x, then our g of x is equal to 2. Then the function will become limit 2 minus 2 as x approaches to 2 is equal to 0. So our f of c is equal to 0. Now we will get the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the left. Here's the table. As you can see, as x approaches to 2 from the left, the function is equal to 0. So the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the left is equal to 0. Then we will get the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the right. Here's the table. As you can see, as x approaches to 2 from the right, the function is equal to 0. So the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the right is equal to 0. Since the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the left and limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to 2 from the right is equal to 0, therefore the limit f of x minus g of x as x approaches to c is equal to 0, is true. f of x and g of x exist in the equation of the limit as x approaches to 2 of limit f of x and g of x is equal to limit of f of x squared as x approaches to 2. By using table of values from both the left and right sides of x approaches to 2. Let's start by defining our functions f of x and g of x. For this example, we will use the function f of x is equals to x and g of x is equals to 2, which are both continuous at x approaches to 2. Next, we will create table of values for both f of x and g of x from both the left and right side of x as approaches to 2. The calculate the values of f of x, g of x, and f of x and times g of x. By observing the table of values, we can see that as x approaches to 2 from both the left and right sides, the value of f of x times g of x approaches to 4. This is the same result at limit of f of x squared as x approaches to 2. Therefore, based on the tables of values, we have proven that both f of x and g of x exist in the equation of the limit as x approaches to 2 of limit f of x g of x is equal to limit of f of x squared as x approaches to 2. This demonstrates how table of values can be used to prove the existence of f of x and g of x in the given equation. For number 3, we have the limit of square root f of x, g of x, as x approaches to c, is equal to the limit of f of x, as x approaches to c. If f of x is equal to 8, g of x is equal to 8, and c is equal to 2, then mag substitute them tayo, which will equal to the limit of the square root of 8, times 8, which equals to the square root of 64, which simplifies to 8. Our answer is the limit of 8 as x approaches to 3. Now, let's check for the limits. In the limit of f of x, 
as x approaches 3 from the left side. Makikita natin na ang x natin is approaching to positive 3 and yung f of x natin is positive 8. Well, the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right side. So, ang x natin from the right side ay papalit sa 2 and yung f of x natin is positive 8. For the limit of g of x as x approaches 3 from the left side, in here, makikita natin na yung x natin is approaching to positive 3 while the g of x is positive 8. For the last one, the limit of g of x as x approaches 3 from the right side or x is approaching to 3 while g of x is positive 8. As we can see, yung right and left sided limits natin is parehas which means our limit exists. So therefore, the limit of the square root of 8 times 8 as x approaches 3 is equal to 8 or the limit of the square root f of x, g of x as x approaches 3 is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is true. So moving on to number 4, our instruction says that suppose that the limits of f of x and g of x both exist and c and k are both real numbers. Determine when the limit of the following functions does not exist. So for number 4, our function is the limit of f of x minus g of x raised to k as x approaches to c. We can see na yung involved the limit loss dito is yung difference law and yung power law. So supposing that the limits of f of x and g of x exist and c and k are both real numbers, kailangan nating maghanap ng exponential value kung saan our function won't exist. So to further understand this, let's substitute values to our functions. So let's say for example, f of x is equal to 5, g of x is equal to 5, c is equal to 5, and k is equal to negative 2. When we substitute, we'll get the limit of 5 minus 5 raised to negative 2 as x approaches 5. And 5 minus 5 is 0, so we'll get 0 raised to negative 2. And alam naman natin kung negative yung exponent natin, kailangan natin mag-reciprocal o kaya i-flip yung function natin. So, ang mangyayari is yung 0 raised to negative 2 magiging 1 over 0 raised to 2. And we can see our exponent na negative dati is positive na ngayon. So, 1 over 0 raised to 2 is simply just 1 over 0. And since the denominator natin is 0 and the numerator is 1, it is undefined. And if you put our function in decimals, hindi lalabas yung graph. And it'll say na it's undefined. So, therefore, the limit of f of x minus g of x raised to k as x approaches to c does not exist if f of x and g of x has the same value and k is less than 0. Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to solve the question number 5. So, our condition is suppose that, that the limit of f of x and g of x both exist and c and k are both real numbers. Now that we prove our f of x and g of x is, uh, are both exist, we are going to solve the problem using the formula. So first, we are going to substitute our x with 2. So 2 times uh, 2 squared is equal to 4, 4 times 3 is equal to 12, minus 4 is equal to 8. And 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. And then, uh, negative 2 uh, 8, 8 raised to negative 2 is equal to 64. And 0 raised to negative 2 is still 0. 
Now, if uh, any any expression divided into zero will be undefined. So our answer will be undefined. Example number two. Uh, now this time our 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 k is positive. So again, we're going to substitute our x into 2. So 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 and times 3 is equal to 12 minus 4 is 8 and then 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Again, if we're going to divide 0, the answer will be undefined. So therefore, the limit of a function does not exist if our k is less than 0 and f of x is equal to 0 or, our, or if our g of x is equal to 0.